Good morning, grade 12. Today we're going to be learning about what a homologous series is. So let's start by reading the proper definition from the exam guidelines that I need you to take down and learn. And then I'll explain what it is in like more simpler terms. Okay, so a homologous series, they are organic compounds that can be described by the same general formula. Or in which one member differs from the next with a CH2 group. So that's your proper definition from your exam guidelines that I need you to learn. You might not understand everything that's going on in this definition now, and that's okay. As we go along with organic chemistry, it'll become more clear. But for now, what I want you to think of when you think of homologous series, and I want you to practice saying that out loud, homologous series, what I want you to think about is it's like a family or a group of items that are similar, okay? You belong to a family because you are similar to your family members. You share blood, you share DNA, you have similar characteristics. That is what a homologous series is. So it's a little family or group okay, of organic compounds. So for example, we have alkanes. All alkanes look similar. They can be identified by the same functional group, which we'll talk about now. They have the same and we will get there. But for now, we're going to start with alkanes. I will be mentioning a few others in this short lesson, though. Okay, so a functional group is how we recognize a homologous series. So if you're sitting there and you're like, okay, but how do I tell which homologous series which compound belongs to? You look at the compound, and you look at the functional group of the compound, and it'll tell you which homologous series it belongs to. So if you look at this compound over here, you guys, I'm sure you can see, it has an OH group attached to it, okay? And I can't highlight it for some unknown reason, but this OH group, this thing here, this is the functional group. So the OH group is the thing that when I look at it, I can tell, okay, cool, it's an alcohol. So this belongs to the homologous series alcohol, alcohols. And I know that because of its functional group. So we'll look at alkanes, alkenes, and that stuff, and you'll see they have different functional groups. So functional group, this is a definition, a game, that I need you to write down and remember. This is a definition from your exam guidelines. So a functional group is a bond or an atom or a group of atoms that determine the physical and chemical properties of a group of organic compounds. So in order to get the marks for this definition, you have to say a bond, an atom, or a group of atoms. I know it's a little bit, why do I have to say all three? You do. So it's a bond, an atom, or a group of atoms that determine the physical and chemical properties of an organic compound. And what that means is, because alcohols have an OH group at the end, alcohols behave in a certain way. Okay, they allow they allow us to use them in certain products because of this functional group that allows them to have certain properties. Okay, so for example, we won't use alcohol and alkenes in the same type of products because they have different properties, and that's because of this functional group. Okay, if we look at this little whiteboard that I did for you guys here, we have three different homologous series on this board. We have alkanes on the left, we have alkenes in the middle, and we have alkynes on the right. They all look different, which means they all belong to different homologous series. The alkanes have single bonds, the alkenes have a double bond, and the alkynes have a triple bond. They look different, they have different functional groups. So if I show you, the functional group of an alkane is this single bond, this single bond. So if I ask you to draw the functional group of an alkane, you'll go like this. It's carbon, bonded to carbon, single bond, and we draw these little bond lines in here. We'll get to this again at a later stage. That is the functional group of an alkane. The functional group of an alkene will look like this. Carbon, double bond, carbon, and then two lines. Sorry, that one's drawn a little bit low, but you know what I mean? There's a line there. And alkynes will be carbon, 
triple bond carbon with one line. And I hope you remember from the first lesson why they all have different numbers of lines. Let's just refresh our memory on that front. Remember, every carbon needs to have four bonds. So, let me get a highlighter here. Every, is this a highlighter? Every carbon needs to have, whoop, no, sorry guys, I'm still figuring out this new tablet thingy. Every carbon needs to have four bonds, okay? So if you look at this carbon here, it has one, two, three, four bonds. Because it has single bonds. In the alkene, because it has a double bond, that counts as one. Let me use a different color, it's not working. Because it has a double bond, if we look here, that counts as one bond, that counts as two bonds, that counts as three bonds, and that counts as four bonds. So because of the double bond, it no longer needs a line over here. I hope that makes sense. If we look at the alkynes, this carbon on the left has one, two, three, four bonds. If you need to rewind the video to watch that again, please do that. Don't worry too much if you're not understanding this. What I need you to understand is just these things belong to different families, different groups, or different homologous series. And because of that, they look different. So this is single bonds, this is double bonds, this is triple bonds. They have different functional groups. So if we look at the alcohol, remember it had an OH in it. The functional group of an alkane is a single bond. Alkene is a double bond. Alkyne is a triple bond. And like the definition says of a homologous series, is that they can be described by the same general formula. So if we look at the whiteboard, this here, this guy over here, this is the general formula for alkanes. This is the general formula for alkenes. And this is the general formula for alkynes. Okay, so uh, let me explain what the general formula is and how we use it. So basically, every single member of an alkane will, will obey this general formula. And what I mean by that is, let's see, look at the alkane that's on the board here. How many carbons is in that alkane? One, two, three. So my N, my number of carbons, is three. So when we write it, put it into the general formula, we've got C3, then we got H, then 2 times N. Remember, N is 3, there's 3 carbons. So 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So by using the general formula, okay, I can get the molecular formula of this specific alkane. So let's see, it says I have 3 carbons, which I do, 1, 2, 3, and it says I have 8 hydrogens, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now every single other member of the alkanes will obey this general formula. Okay. For the alkenes, it works in oop, it works in a similar way. I was trying to erase there. So let's see with a <laughs> this is not my day. Let's see with the alkenes. There was an N there. So for this alkene, there's three carbons, so C3. And then the general formula for alkene says you must multiply the 2 by N. So 2 times 3 is 6. And if you count the number of H's here, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's not right. What happened? I put an H too many. So let's just check. Remember, every carbon must have how many bonds? Four bonds. So look at this carbon. 1, 2, three, four. That's correct. Let's look at the second carbon. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, too many bonds. Grade twelves, I hope you see what I did, because you will make this mistake too. Every carbon needs to have four bonds. So again, look at the first carbon. One, two, three, four. This double bond counts as two. One, two, three, four. So the first carbon is good. Look at the second carbon. One, two, three, four, Five. I put too many bonds on the second carbon, so this H actually needs to go away. Now let's check the second carbon. One, two, three, four. 
Let's check the third carbon. One, two, three, four. Okay. Hope that makes sense. And now you'll see there's six H's. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can kind of use a general formula to check if you've drawn this thing properly. Then let's do the last one for the alkynes. We've also got three carbons in this example, so C3, then H2N minus 2. So 3 times 2 is 6, minus 2 is 4. So it should be C3H4. Let's see, do we have four hydrogens? 1, 2, 3, 4. That is correct. And every carbon has four bonds. So 1, 2, 3, 4 on the first carbon. On the second carbon, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. And on the third carbon, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so in this video, I hope you understand that alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, alcohols, and so on, they are different types of homologous series. They can be described by the same general formula, which is this one with the N, the CNH2N, that thing. They look different. They have different properties, different chemical, different physical properties. Okay. In the next lesson, we're going to go on to alkanes.